That was definitely a team effort today, right? There were some things today that we did in terms of our decision making, our movement with the ball that were really good. This group, I'm telling you, this group has a chance to be special. Not just because of the stuff on the field, but the stuff off the field. That makes a big difference, right? Just keep focusing on the process. Welcome to Rock Chalk Park in Lawrence. Big 12 soccer tonight. It's the home opener for the Kansas Jayhawks as they entertain the Commodores of Vanderbilt. Free kick out towards midfield. Goalkeeper misread it and over the top of the Ajenko who misjudged it. And the ball goes in the goal for Mark Kelly. Running out on Vanderbilt. Kansas trying to hold on to the second Jay, half goal. Page the late slide and knock it away. Jones on turns, crosses with the left foot. It's headed and in. This is not a bad result. We know based on how the game went that we're disappointed, we should be disappointed. Out of this, we gotta learn from it. We gotta manage the end of the game a little bit better than I think we did at the end of that one, All right? That would help us. But bottom line is that this group is in a good spot. We need to realize that we are good. We can compete with teams that are good because we've already done it, all right? Now it's about recovering for Sunday. We need to get results. So we go into Sunday, we win the game Sunday, we win the first block. But hey, I, I gotta tell you, I was proud to be your coach today. Last night's game was, we competed super hard. It was upsetting we didn't get the result, but we did compete the whole game. We, I think we dominated. Again, it was upsetting, but um, we'll learn from it and hopefully it won't happen again. Is this artichoke? Can I do a little bit of that, please? So, how do you think the game went? I think in the beginning, we were kind of like, frantic a little bit, but I think once we got into the groove of things, we were possessing really well. It was just, uh, last minute details like he's seven, like just managing the game and yeah it's yeah. disappointing that we didn't win but like you can't take away our effort like we we did yeah. well we're good this year so we're good this year so i think we'll be us. good yeah i have faith in us okay so i'm gonna go meet with denisha i'll see you later okay see you at practice yeah. okay so denver colorado college four, four, so two. they both played a three five two montec played four four two denver played a three five two yeah, LaTeX played a 4-4-2. Well, they didn't play. even call it 3-5-2. That's a 3 6 one. It's a 3 6 one. Yeah. what I said to him earlier. Yeah. You know what we might want to do tomorrow? Because we have not even talked about this because it hasn't been hasn't come up and anybody we can play, but it's like playing against a long block. We might have to even just walk through some stuff with them because if they, they're going to drop off deep against they're us. They're going to park the left. You think so? Yes. I think they will. Yeah. But here's the thing though, right? They're watching video on us. They're watching our three forwards. Are you think they're going to say, okay, we're okay without three center backs, Mark, and their three forwards? They're going to drop at least drop one of the white guys back. Surely. If they don't, good luck. I would tell you there was a lot, after going through the video, there was a lot of positives from the game. And then we also had some learning moments, okay? <laughs> the, the word I would use from the game is details. If we allowed them to switch the ball. That would be really dangerous here, so do a really good job of this. Again, we're really tight, matched up here. Okay, don't allow them to turn. Now, get a little bit unlucky here, that good kid cuts it back, but again, much better job on the back post here. Yeah, so again, very small details, right, but ended up obviously making a difference there. Um, okay. So, we knew, we talked about it right after the game, all about preparing for some business, right? Let's do it. We're gonna head straight into our weight room here. And we typically only use this weight room um, during preseason and before we travel. 
So this isn't actually our main weight room. We have another weight room in Anderson on campus that we use during the weeks and that's where we spend most of our time, but this is just a nice extra space to have. Okay, so now we're walking down our hallway and I think this facility is probably one of the best in the country. I, I mean, totally we're agree. literally so spoiled. Yes. Um, and then as we keep walking, okay, so now we're about to enter into our locker room. Welcome. As you walk in, you can see it's pretty nice. We have restrooms, showers, lots of snacks always supplied. Um, and then we get into the main locker room. We each have our own locker and it's a huge space. And this is where we come only for game days. So we also have another locker room on campus at Wagnon. So this is just really nice. Um, we know that when it's game day, we're here and we're ready to go. So now we're on the second floor of RCP and this is a space where we have all of our pregame meals when we're at home. And so it's a really fun time before pregame ritual will start where we just come together as a team and staff and have catered meals twice a week. So it's really awesome. And it was super awesome showing you guys around today and thanks for joining us and we'll see you later. See you next time. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Hola. Hello. 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 This is just perfect, isn't it? I freaking love the rain. There we go. There we go. Keep it going. Quick, quick, quick. Here we go. Come on, guys. Body shape's important. Try and get it across your body. Try and get it across. Here with it. Two. Last round. Stay locked in. 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20. <laughs> this should be left footed so you keep it away from the defender. If Avery opens up right foot, that girl can tackle. So Kate can use her left on this side and Avery can use her right on that side. Right, we're trying to, we're trying to stretch their back line, Monty, higher. Trying to stretch their back line and pin it back, right? So that we have the space to make this happen. Yes. Okay, you're not gonna Not me. I can finish. Frick! I'm ready when you are. <laughs> Not ready. Last kick, you guys. We got it. Yes! Hey! Yeah! Yes! Here we go, come on. Header! <laughs> you closed your eyes, Sierra. I saw it from here. Diving header. And it's not even, this is a much bigger surface than this. That is true. I'm not saying you have a big head, I'm just That's saying. That's what this. it sounds like. <laughs> MTV, welcome to our crib. Yep, so we have a full kitchen, full living room. Yo, I'm our, we made a little map. Oh, from, yeah. Um, so we have maps of where we're from. So here's Tulsa, which is Kate. And then here's Owen Park, which is Mora. And then we have yeah. this is where my house is. Shira, my family, and Miss Mora. Israel, and then Avery's Texas. We all look beautiful, I think, in this. So I had to put her up. Yeah. We got my bathroom here. I'm gonna show you guys it because it's cute. So got just some organization. I'm super organized. So Taipei, Taipei. Tons of hoodies. Cause you way too many. You, hoodies. you can't have enough hoodies. Jayhawk Nation, am I wrong? I don't think so. <laughs> yes, so. And my baby. The, I, li <laughs> I literally miss every day of my life. Like, I miss more than my family. So I just <laughs> I cuddle him every day. Although, <laughs> although he's 6,000 miles away. I love him and I kiss him every day. Good night. <laughs> so that's it for this. We're going to give you guys a little. Peace out. That's Peace out. That's room my tours side. with Kansas Soccer. I played professional soccer for about nine years. Uh, out this is before MLS, and back in those days, you could still play and you got paid, but you didn't make very much money. You couldn't live on the money, so. I had to do something else to supplement my income. As a player on a professional team, it's easy to get coaching positions like in club and stuff because you're playing on a professional team. So that was, it was more of a necessity to be honest with you at the beginning. And then when I started doing it, when I was pl playing as well, I actually enjoyed it. Um, and the longer I did it, the more I realized that when I'm finished playing, I can definitely see this some, being something that could be a career I could see myself getting into. So but now it's 25th season at Kansas, which is kind of crazy to think about. The most rewarding parts of the job are definitely 
seeing them develop as players over their four years, but also, you know, they, they grow as women and uh, they come in our program as, you know, 18 year olds and they leave as women. So it's kind of cool to know that you had an influence and, and helped them become who they actually are at that point. So. This is gonna be like me, short and sweet. Okay, Sunday game. The biggest thing, we've only played one of them, but the biggest thing about Sunday games is you have to bring energy, right? You have to bring energy. It's gonna take everybody sitting in this room to get the results today, all right? Everybody that's able to play is gonna play. One of the reasons nobody's beaten us is our energy without the ball has been fantastic. Bottom line is, is if we take care of that part of it, us with the ball will take care of itself. Here we go, let's go! The Jayhawks coming in off a draw with Vandy on Thursday. They had the lead for all but, well, after they scored the goal to the final minute of the game. Those are tough to bounce back from. Coach Francis really put a positive message. He was proud of his team. They played majority of the game. You don't think you'll see them playing a full game today. Hey! Good move! Clay Key to the middle of the Severins and then the ball off the line and does scoot in. Brilliant stop. Brilliant stop. Brilliant stop. Mora! Mora! Get us to refocus! Start again! Let's go! A little two on two. Gets Severins on the cutback. Check that Clanky who chips from distance and it's good from outside the box. Hallie Clanky like tallies the third Jayhawk goal. So here's the challenge, we're winning 3-0. So now you have a decision to make in the second half. This is what I would tell you. We have to, have to get a shutout in this game. Do not allow them to get on the score sheet. Let's raise our level this half, ladies. Raise the level, let's win the second half. So a free kick opportunity now for Kansas. Way outside, we'll shoot this one right towards the front of the box. Avery Smith's on the end of it. What a goal! And a header goal. Talk about attack the ball. You guys did a really good job in the second half of doing what we talked about. You maintained the pressure, you didn't take your foot off the gas, and we won the second half 3-0, right? It's ideal. We're at home again next weekend. We won the block 2-0-2. Oh, we didn't lose, and we got two wins, right? So now we go into the next block. Two home games, two away games. Tremendous effort today from everybody, though, everybody that stepped on the field. And again, we did what I said at halftime. We made it really difficult for them. Awesome job. Five, four, three, one, two, three, five. Five.